Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to fix this problem. Uh, boot device not found and other cases could be no bootable device found. So this happens when the, hard, the computer boots and doesn't read the hard drive where the operating system is. So I'm going to show you a quick way of how to solve this by switching off the computer and you could place I'm going to switch up switched off. I'm powering it on. Now I'll click F F10 because this is a HP laptop and we normally go to the BIOS system via F10. So I'll bring the computer closer. I want you to follow these simple steps. I want you to go to system configurations and this is the process whereby we shall get all the other information that we need. So I'll go down and scroll and click that. Then I'll go down again. Then I enable this option. And when I enable this option, secure boot will be removed immediately. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and click F10 to save changes. And in the process, the computer is going to boot and to bring another error that you are seeing right now here. I'm going to show you how to solve this other error. It is not the same, but it's for secure boot options. I'm going to click escape, then I'll click F, F10 to go back to the BIOS system. So when I go back to the BIOS system, I go to configurations again, and I'll go down here. I'll go up. Then I'll disable this secure boot. Then after here, I'll go to this option, clear all secure boot keys. Then I'll go there and then to generate for me these codes. In your case, it would be different if you happen to get them. So I'm going to put these codes 48, then 6, 6, then enter. Then that will remove the secure boot options. Then I'll go back up and enable my legacy support then i'll say okay then i'm going to reboot the computer and i'm going to save changes by clicking f10 and then okay then it's going to load the windows files without any problems and this is how you go around that issue and this was just a quick video on, on how to resolve the node bootable device found on your HP laptops and this could work on other HP laptops. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, share it, comment if you need any help and also uh, this was just a quick video as you have seen it. So I'm going to stop from here. I'm going to wait for the Windows files to load. And this is an HP laptop that I've been installing Windows. So thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.